Thanks for staying with us. It's that time of year again when you may see a pink fire engine driving around town, and it's because St. Lucie County firefighters are backing a really good cause. To talk to us about it today is Donnie Stefani, a firefighter with St. Lucie County, the fire district. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Good to have you here. Uh, it's time for the annual Pink Heels uh, tour again. Yep, they're uh, rolling in the town the weekend of the 11th, and uh, we're supporting an event in Tradition Square once again on October 11th from 3 to 7. That's this Saturday. Yep, it'll be our fourth year doing it, and it's been a big success in the past. Uh, good family front fun event. And we're going to do it again for our local charities. So tell us what exactly is this Pink Heels Tour? Uh, the Pink Heels Tour travels all over the nation um, and they come to different areas to put on events. They are a tool for us to host the event. Um, all the money raised at our event and all the events that they come to are local dollars. So as firefighters, we live and work in this community and we want to give back. So we, we put on events um, and the Pink Heels Tour is for the women in our lives. It's not just breast cancer, it's not just a certain cancer, it's any illness or sickness that affects the women and the children in our lives, like our mothers, our grandmothers, our daughters. We're here to help them. Um, and as firefighters, that's our job. Um, everyone associates us with being strong and dirty and going into burning buildings. So when you put a pink paint job on a fire truck and pink fire gear on a firefighter, it really, it, it's a striking um, uh, notion. So they come in town, they put on that show for us and enables us to raise dollars for local charities here. Yeah, it really does get attention because you know something's up. What's with this pink fire? Mm -hmm. Why are these firefighters <laughs> in pink? I know there's something going on yes, here. It really sure. does get attention. And the firefighters uh, you've worked with on the past doing this event, that they, they can be rough and tumble and come out there with a the pickaxe in one hand, but they can put that down yep. and participate they'll without a problem? They'll put a pink coat on and a pink helmet, and they'll take pictures with whoever likes to come up. Um, and we get a lot of our firefighters that help me support the event. Um, they'll come out and work the event, help set it up. And it's been a, a big success, and we're really happy that it's coming back. Uh, we've had a little bit of a change in the kids' area. We've added a lot more things for the kids to do. We have a live fire demonstration. Um, police cars that are that have pink on them from local agencies around the area will be coming. Um, we've also invited other fire departments from around our area in the Treasure Coast to come and be a part of the parade um, that starts the event off with a parade honor guard presentation, um, which leads into a live live band and um, food vendors, drinks, and also a lot of local health care providers to give out any information that for people that are just asking for something and what they can do. And I know you've got uh, many uh, very qualified and competent uh, women firefighters mm -hmm. as well. They sure do. And I'm sure they're behind this cause oh, too. Oh yeah, they, they're definitely a big help in this and um, everyone's really strong in this. And, and you know, like I said, we're, we're firefighters that live and work in this area. And everyone associates the worst time, you know, when they see us, it's at their worst time. But as the Benevolent, which is our charitable organization, we want to help people before, during, and after the emergencies, not just in their worst times. So. Great, just coming to the rescue in a different kind of Correct. a way. Correct, yes. Okay, so uh, this is a family friendly event. Yes, people it is. Come it's a free event. Things. Yep. And it is where again? It's in Tradition Square and oh. Tradition Port St. Lucie from 3 to 7 p.m. on October 11th. All right, that this sounds, Saturday. Sounds like a lot of fun, good information, a little bit of educational opportunity for people yep, as well. Yep, there'll be educational booths, there'll be fun booths. Um, we're doing a lot of kid themed uh, games at each booth, so the kids will have tons of things to do. You'll have the trucks out there. Of course, the pink trucks will be there. Um, St. Lucie County Fire District trucks will be there. There, Like I said, there will be some from the other Treasure Coast uh, departments that will come out for the parade, um, pipes and drums, honor guard presentation, police agencies, tow trucks, garbage trucks. Very good. Um, Somebody wants to know a little bit more. Are you on the web somewhere? Yeah, we are on Facebook. You can check us out on Facebook at Treasure Coast Pink Heels Tour. And also, um, I can be reached on my phone at 954-914-5125. Well, great. Very good. Uh, Donnie Stefani with St. Louis yes, County Fire District. Appreciate your Thank efforts you. on behalf of uh, the women in all of our lives. And uh, we know you're working hard to get that done, so we'll let you go. Get right. okay, back to business. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Right. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this quick message.